What's going on, Blacks in San Antonio, my Facebook page, friends out there, what's happening? This is Keith Scott from Black Video News. We're right here at the BBN Studios. We're live, and I got my main man, Harlem native, Mr. Nico White, comedian. Baby, what's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? Thank you for oh, What's going on, man? Welcome to the Alamo City, bro. Yes, indeed. Ain't not much going on. Uh, first of all, I want to compliment you guys on having wonderful weather. I, I want to say that I feel like this is all just for me. You know, I don't know what the weather was like recently, but this is very nice. I almost passed out when I got off the train. Out the, off the train, losing my mind. When I got off the um, airplane, because I didn't know it was this warm. Because I'm one of those people where, you know, you're from New York, you think New York is the be-all, end-all. So, you right. go other places, you're like, well, if the weather's like this in New York, it'll probably be similar to what it is down there. It's cold as the Arctic in New York. I get down here, and it's this hot. So, I get off the plane, I'm in a hoodie, and I'm in a jacket, and I'm in a skull cap. You couldn't tell me when I got off and I took, like, when I took my hat off, there was a sound like I just got out of the pool. You what? Know what I'm it was that much sweat accumulated on my head. But the people down here have been amazing. The, the women down here. All right. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We've been showing Gorgeous. you some love since you've been in the Alamo Gorgeous, City. Gorgeous, bro. Man, let's go right into it, too, also. Mm -hmm. I know you're doing your thing. You've been on XM Radio, Sway in the Morning Show. Yes. Uh, couple of morning shows, but I want you to tell my Facebook friends and my BBN okay. listeners where you've been, where, what you're doing. Go I don't ahead. know which camera's mine, but I'm looking at that one. So my name is Nico White. That's N-E-K-O-W-H-I-T-E. I'm 23 years old. been doing comedy since 2007. So in that time, I've been on MTV's Hip Hop Hollywood Squares. I've been on Fox's Labs. I've Fox been Labs. on Fox Labs. That was That's a good one. Classic, classic. I was on Gotham Labs, Access TV. I've been to the Montreal Comedy Festival, big in the New York Comedy Festival, and a couple other things. But And also had my own one-hour special title, Introducing Me, that I shot in 2014. And now I will be here in San Antonio at the River Center Improv over at the River... What, what y'all call that? The River Center Mall? The Improv Comedy Club. Yes, at the indeed. River Center at Mall. Yes, sir. I mean, man, we so excited, man. I'm so excited to have you here in the studio. I'm excited to be here, man. Harlem native, man. Love the NYC with the school there. Lived on the Lower East Side. Ah. But, but, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. L.E.S. in the house. To those of you who don't know, <laughs> the Lower East Side back in his day was... Uh, oh, God. It wasn't... Uh, it was still in black and white, but in his day, it wasn't the type of place where you could just walk around comfortable. <laughs> no. You, ha you had to have that cold. Yeah. They, they say when you're from, if you didn't say LES, it was a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. run them shoes or that pocketbook and stuff like that. You ever go back there now and see what it's turned into? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's changed Delancey Street, East Houston, the FDR Drive. Mm -hmm. All of that's changed. It's beautiful. It is. They've done that to Harlem, you know. Yeah, Harlem yeah. is beautiful too. And man, people actually speak to you in Harlem now. Yeah, yeah. Well, before it was dangerous to talk to people. Like, if somebody said, yo, my man, what's going on? That usually meant they're trying to get you to pay attention to them as they boys ran up behind you so yeah. they have to get your wallet. Yeah, you know yeah. What or saying? what time is it? Or you got a cigarette. Uh-huh. Or, yo, man, what size those sneakers? That was that was definitely oh, cool. Yeah. If, if you said ain't they slick, like, they your size, it was going to go down. Yeah, that was classic. Mm -hmm. Man, you've been in this game a minute. Most people don't know. Mm -hmm. This thing started for you, Nico, man, when you was 14. Yes. A little shy in the classroom. Mm -hmm. But, man, tell me what happened that day that, you know, from where you took off from that day. Because I know gotcha. you, you took off at 14 and you mm -hmm. haven't stopped. No, definitely not. So, um, it's weird because I was never the class clown or anything crazy like that. I was more the kid that when I did speak, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it, I was either really smart or I was funny. But when I, I was never trying to be funny. Right. It was just one of those things like if I said something to you, I was more of the smart out, smart out guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I say something that'll cut you real deep, hopefully, so you don't come back and do something crazy. So the first day of high school orientation, I met a kid who was funnier than I was, just in conversation. I wasn't used to that. Okay. Me being funny in conversation was how I made friends. That was my whole social, you know, my whole social identity. So my best friend, a kid named Rock, this girl who I liked, I said something, she giggled. You know what I'm saying? He said something, she cracking up. So I'm like, oh well, I'm not going. I'm not going to get laid in high school now. I guess I don't really got. I ain't got no backup. I ain't the best looking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got the best game. So what I'm gonna do now? Right, right. It just so happens that the next day in school, I have a teacher. Her name's Miss Richardson. God bless Miss Richardson. She Richardson. asked, um, "Does anybody have a talent?" So a girl named Esther. She went up. She sung a song. 
Something. Nah, nah, man, we, we, we want you to do your thing here in the Alamo City and continue to do your thing throughout the country. I gotta visit the Alamo, and that's right across the street from um, the River Center. Right? Yeah, though it's right in here. You're not too far from it. It's right okay. downtown. I don't know the exact street, mm -hmm. but yeah, you gotta visit the Alamo. I definitely will. You gotta visit the Alamo. Oh, also, if y'all, to the people who are watching this, can, can you um, recommend some good places to get some food? Cause, like, I'm, I'm not starving, but I definitely wanna try like some dope spots before I leave here. I already tried Tony G's shop, Tony G's. I went to his Whole Foods spot yesterday. Top notch, top notch work, my brother, top notch. So, you know, I like it down there. So, so man, what can the people expect, man, from these shows? You're gonna be here three nights laying it down, mm -hmm. man. What, what, how, what, what can they expect from from Nico, man? Here's what you can expect from Nico White show: your money's worth. You're gonna get every dollar you spent on my show. You're gonna get that back in then some. You can expect to hear some fresh perspectives. I'm talking about my own perspective. You can hear some stories from my life. You can hear some stories that you can relate to. It's a whole bunch of things to tell you what you can expect. It's almost a bit asinine. Come experience it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from here, and I'm telling you, coming here to try to in effort to get new fans, I'm giving it 110%. So, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad to have me down at the Improv at the River Center, and I hope to see you there. Tonight, 8.30, Friday, <laughs> 8 and 10.15, Saturday, 8 and 10.15, and Sunday at 8 p.m. Come to these shows, because they don't happen for child without you, so damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's going to be at the Improv Hot Spot, mm -hmm. you know, right, not too far from downtown, baby. It's a hot, well, it is downtown. Yeah. Hot Spot right on East Commerce. Nico White is in town. Before we wrap up, man, what's next for Nico? You, you trying to do some Hollywood, some movies or something? What's going on? Oh, I just, um, I'm, working, <coughs> I'm, working, I'm working on two shows on the TV right now, so hopefully those will come through. Outside of that, Kevin Hart has a new network coming up, and they shot on um, this, um, uh, they shot their little show up in Montreal, okay. and I was one of a few comedians. They did a pilot around. or something up there. They did a they did episodes. Oh, they show. did the episode. Oh, this show. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's um it's a stand up show, so it's a platform for comedians called the LOL Network. Okay. So it's not out yet. Hopefully it'll be out soon. But um that's coming up. I got a oh like I said, I got my whole special with Nico White introducing me. That's online. You can look for it and hopefully find that. And after that, just stand up, man. I get to go across the country and headline these days. So. That, to me, is, like, the best thing. That's what's up, man. Thank you, man. Uh, the shows are going down Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the Improv Comedy Club. And don't forget Right tonight, here in the Alamo City. Thursday. If you're seeing this on Thursday, because there is a show happening tonight, so. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's it's going on tonight, too, as well. Nico White is right here in the Alamo City, Harlem native. I want to thank you, man. No doubt, Thanks man. a lot, bro, man. Thank Much you. love, man. This is Keith Scott, man. I'm signing off right here. Facebook friends, Black Video News. You can check Nico White out. He's right here in the Alamo City. Yes, indeed. Keith Scott, Black Video News, baby. Be encouraged. Black power. Oh,